Hey, the other factory fans. Today, I want to introduce you to some really exciting new enhancements that we are releasing as part of the Invoke Pipeline activity in Fabric Data Factory Pipelines. Now, when you click on the Activities tab, the ribbon will show two different Invoke Pipeline activities. We have the Invoke Pipeline activity that is uh, there already today, which is now considered legacy, so we have it labeled as legacy. Then there's the new one that I want to talk about, which is the preview for the brand new Invoke Pipeline. Some really exciting new features available to you now. First thing you'll see is down here in the settings, three different radio buttons. You can now invoke pipelines from Fabric as well as your existing pipelines from Azure Data Factory and Synapse, creating and opening up some really exciting possibilities for you to execute in line invoking your pipelines from EDF or Synapse in addition to the Fabric activities that you are executing. So I could have an invoke pipeline here that's going to execute a pipeline from ADF that might have a mapping data flow in it or an SSIS package in it, things that are not available to you today inside of Fabric. And all of the investments you've made down ADF and Synapse pipelines can be utilized inside of your Fabric pipeline. I could add to this a notebook right after that and connect these things and they would still work just as is, as if there was a, um, a child pipeline inside of my Fabric workspace. In addition to that, when I click on Fabric um, for my Invoke Pipeline, I can now invoke pipelines across workspaces within Fabric. So I can, if I have access to a pipeline from another workspace, I can invoke and execute that as a child pipeline here inside of Fabric. But let me show you real quickly what this looks like to be able to leverage your Azure Data Factory pipelines inside of Fabric. This is my ADF that happens to have a mapping data flow in it, which I do not have access to inside of Fabric natively. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take that pipeline inside of Fabric and I'm going to point to that data factory and execute that pipeline one, invoking it from Fabric. So now when I run this, and remember for those of you who are coming from ADF and Synapse, running in line here in place from your Fabric UI, is essentially the equivalent of running that pipeline in ADF or Synapse in what's known as debug mode, right? So let me fix that to take care of that, uh, getting rid of that notebook activity that I added there just to demonstrate. And I'm going to run this now in what is essentially run now or debug mode inside of Fabric. And what this is going to do is change the context to run and invoke that pipeline from ADF. So you'll see the parent here inside of Fabric. And if I go over into my, back to my data factory, and I go to monitoring, you will see that it's being executed and invoked here from my Fabric pipeline. So the child essentially is going to have the detailed monitoring available to me here inside of ADF. And then back in Fabric, I have the parent. So a lot of really exciting, cool new capabilities enabled for you here inside of the Fabric Data Factory with the new Invoke Pipeline to be able to invoke pipelines inside of Fabric across workspaces and to include your ADF and Synapse pipelines in Fabric as well. Thanks for watching.